Good morning. Please excuse me for looking like the Wild Witch Borneo. I don't know what is wrong with my hair. Menopause and hair just seem to go all over the place. So anyway, last week I did a online auction. I didn't watch the bids going on online. I just, the night before it was due to do, I um, placed some bids, very low bids. Didn't think anything of it. Didn't think I won anything because I've not heard anything. Uh, and then on Saturday, I think it was, I got a me oh, excuse me a message saying that I had won something, but it just said the lot numbers and me being me hadn't wrote down the lot numbers, so I have no clue. So this is gone today. Um, so I thought I'd unbox it with you. Um, <coughs> if I can get in it, trust me to get the bluntest knife going. In. Okay, so this is going to be like half an hour of me trying to open a box. Oh, maybe it's one of those boxes. Yeah, it is. You see, I never knew why it could be in there because I wasn't really born with any common sense at all. It's one of those boxes that lifts up. So, yeah, I don't know what I bid it on. Um, I think I could be completely wrong. I thought I'd looked at some jewellery, but I could be wrong. And just cut myself while I'm doing it. Okay. It's not very heavy. Oh. <laughs> okay then. So it says, Thank you, Jeanette. I spent the, the actual package being sent to me was £9 um, and I spent nine. well I spent £6 yeah £6 and the hammer commission was £1.08 and delivery and packaging was the rest okay then I'm ready for this it seems to be a box of teddies so <laughs> the first one LHD Miss Laura Harks is a little teddy. Okay. Oh. It's got one of it's got that squeaky thing inside that doesn't work. <laughs> Next one is a doll. It's one of those that it's supposed to shut its eyes, but one of the eyes doesn't shut at all. Oh, it does. It comes back open again, and then it does. Um, so that is. I haven't got my glasses. It's a Fisher Price, and it's nineteen. I can't work out if it says eighty-two or ninety-two. There we have a dolly. I had spied something. I'm quite about oh this is one of the dolls i used to have a doll similar to this when i was little obviously this isn't as old as me it looks too modern but at least i wonder if it works it doesn't work <laughs> okay then normally i used to have one that you pulled the cord in the back and it spoke so maybe that's what it should be i wonder if there's a doll hospital that mel mends it um so it's got long hair. Ah, it's not a talking doll. That is one of those. Hold on. Ah, you pull the string. You pull the string and the hair goes to that lens. And then you can lengthen the hair. And shorten the hair, lengthen the hair, shorten the hair. Okay, so I don't know what year that is or anything. The one thing I can't do is, you see all this, it's all like, I can't get the words out. It goes all fluffy. Now when I've washed it, I've washed some of the other dolls that I got, the Barbie dolls and the Cindy dolls. 
and although it makes it look shiny I can't get the frizz away so if anybody Sue if you're watching how can I get rid of the frizz oh yeah another dolly okay oh oh pardon me and I can't believe I just belt you can I another dolly with a twisty body it's not a very uh, pretty dolly it looks like it's worst of all it's not got any dates or anything on it it's very scratched and battered and its eyes don't open very well um, doing well here aren't I okay next thing coming out the box welcome to the year 2000 twiggle I tell you there's something wrong with my brain tickle tickle wiggle wiggle the millennium collectible and you press it there and I think it's supposed to do something like that but it doesn't work that's why it's in the order for me, isn't it? We put some batteries in it. This is a British, oh, a, a UK teddy. Complete with goggles. That's quite cute, that one. With its little bomber suit on. Body suit. I'm wondering if there's anything yet I'll get my six pound on. Um little puppet teddy oh that's cute you can put your fingers in the hand that's quite a cute little hedgehog <laughs> okay a penguin and that is um impact soft toys they're not very clean either. And another penguin. So it's two penguins. Penguins. A McDonald's giraffe. I bet you're enthralled by this. A clown. It's like a porcelain face clown with porcelain. Oh, scratchy shoes sitting on a moon now this most probably from pound shop or something but i can remember my cousin having things like this in the 80s so oh it's when my teeth go funny that's one of the scratchy we have a greyhound dog which has something written on it but i can't see that's a sweet got some damage there but um, there's no other damage to its feet, that doesn't seem to be. That's quite a nice. Oh, look at that cute face. That's sweet, that. Um, don't put me hand in this. Another puppet. So, yeah, another puppet. Um, these are by Regency Fine Arts. Missing his master. It's a little Westy. And another little Westy. They're not chipped or anything, but they will be when I finish them. Because I'm not a bit clumsy. Right, some silver plated photo frames. We've got two of these. Two of those. I just don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> Simon's in London today, so he's going to be so impressed when he comes home. Um, a horse. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, a horse. It's nice. I mean, 
it hasn't got a tail. So it's a tailless horse. Um, and it's, yeah, it's got some cracks and some batters, battered a bit. That reminds me of it. Um, a Cindy horse when I was a child. Feels like it's been opened. It's got a seam all the way down the middle. Yeah, so it's missing its tail. Anybody tell me, is that not a Cindy horse? I think I can't remember if she had Cindy's or Barbie's, my friend. I'm sure she had one like that. Might not be anything, it might be from Pound Shop from last week. Another house. Another house? What is wrong with me? Another photo frame. I'm getting seriously concerned. These are what I like. We've got two Coca-Cola cups. Now, these do go for good money. Um, well, not loads of money, you can't retire on it. But, if you get the set, you can get sell the set for 25. Um, so yeah, two Coca-Cola books. A portable M3, MP3 player. It's very dirty inside. Um, it's very sticky. Ugh. Very sticky. I don't know. Ugh. Everything's sort of like worn away and perished. Oh, it's making me cringe. What is it with me today? Okay, we have two daisy bags. These, there's two in here, identical. Oh, they look, they're new. They've got little bits on the handles. I don't like to give auctions up as a bad job for me. Oh, it's new. It's summer and daisy. Um, quite a nice size bag. Somebody might like it. So there's two of those, exactly the same. And Nobo on it. <laughs> Could be Nobo or Nobo. So, no, because it's sealed. I don't know what this is actually. It's compartments. Two compartments. So, well, that was exciting, wasn't it? So, for my Altogether nineteen pound because that includes the postage. <laughs> um, I've got a MP three player that's perished and very very sticky. Some daisy bags. And you I might get a couple of quid for those. I'll get a couple of quid for those. I can put them with the others and make a set. So I might be able to get my money back. I don't know about these. They're very cute though. But um not sure. I'll have to look that one up. That might be worth a little bit. As long as I get my money back, I don't mind. Um can't see anybody wanting these penguins, can you? Penguins, um, McDonald's, giraffe. Yeah, so I now know why I won this one. I don't know why. 
understand why I would have bidded on it though. That's the I can't I don't recognise anything in it that I would have gone, oh I'm going to bid on that at all. Not even the gold. So I'm not sure. And again, I like that. But then I like certain gold I've seen. That has got a mark on it. I need to get my glasses and see what the mark is on that. So that's nice. Um, yeah, I don't think the gold are going to be giving me any money back from at all. I don't even think it was old. So that's either 82 or 92. I'll need to get my glasses on for that one. I actually think it says 82. No. Mm. I could say 1982. I'd have been 12 in 1982. Um, yeah, I'll try and clean this one up. This has got quite a cute face, so she, she might sell. Somebody might like her. I've got to work out where, what happens with I'm sure she should talk as well. Normally they have like spots on the... No. Maybe not. So, yeah. If anybody can tell me how to defluff, I can get the tangles out, wash it and condition it. It's getting the shine back and making it so it looks smooth. Um, so I will have a go at that one. Yeah, item 1308. I really can't remember bidding on a 1308. But there you go. Oh, no, it was two. A box of assorted toys and a box of assorted handbags and glasses. And it all fit into one. Hmm. Two glasses. Yeah. So... I need to think about these auctions and what I'm doing. Um, the last, the last stuff I showed you from the auctions, um, I did sell one of the bracelets out of there for fifteen pound. It's a really nice bracelet. Um, I'm trying to think if I sold anything else from that. No, I don't think I have. No. So on all the auctions up to date, I haven't got my money back. Um, and I think it's what I go for the things that I go for because I like quirky things and maybe quirky to me is tat to other people <laughs> um, so yeah so for the rest of the day I have got a load of my stuff to clear out the house to take up to the unit and then I've got loads and loads and loads of listings to do for Simon um, for the rest of the day so yeah what are you all doing I can't believe I've just bought all that tat oh god I will be doing another video not this weekend um, this weekend um, I'm going away with my daughters so There'll be no sourcing for me. I'm just thinking, I've just missed a car boot this morning. Hmm. It's too late to clean now. Never mind. Yeah. I know. This is the thing about the hair. This doll. So, Sue, if you're watching. This doll. I've got it all smooth at the top. Really lovely, smooth and silky. And then it... Although it's not... It's not like tangled... It's gone all fluffy, really fluffy, really fluffy, and I, I just don't know what to do with it. Um, so if anybody has any ideas, I'd be greatly appreciated. Yeah. 
I'm in a state of shock. <laughs> right, have a great day. See you soon. Bye.